Hello, I'm Danny, and this is Big Bots, Little Bots, Arm Bots, and today I'm going to see if I can edit a video on the ROG Ally. Now, I'm going to be doing it plugged in on 30 watts, so that's its maximum power without adding the external graphics cards on. And on top of that, I'm going to be using DaVinci Studio. So I'm going to show you the process of the video edit. And then at the end, I'm going to put the actual video clip there. Big butts, little butts. butts. Okay, so let's load up DaVinci Resolve. I've already transferred my files onto the system. Right, a new project. Oh, so frustrating. Ah. Uh. Well, so this is a problem I keep facing. And it seems to only be happening on the Ally, in fairness. But there are issues with windowing on a normal PC. So, right. Let's just move this here a minute. Right, so the sound on these clips is ruined. There's an electrical hum when I did it for some reason. Well, don't change. And just to be clear. Yeah, so they're in 4K. and also just to show we're at 30 watts turbo mode because we're plugged in so I'm just going to start by putting this video here just going to do a few random cuts in it Yeah, get this footage and chop that up as well. Okay, right. So we will get rid of this lengthy bit of footage there. I'm also going to mute these for obvious reasons. I'm going to add some more tracks. <clears throat> so, first things first, we are going to add some transitions in. So, actually, scratch that. You need to put these in here. So, also just going to chop those off a little bit. <laughs> So we can make some bits happen a little bit quicker. I mean, so far so good. This all running nice and smooth. So we add some different types of transitions in. Right, so just to show you in full screen. As you can see, that's all running smooth. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, there you go, we're back with it now. So 
just took a little bit of time for that to initially load that transition other than that it's all running pretty smooth we're running around the 30 watt mark as you can see okay so we're all good for that what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to okay so we lost the window but we saved it so we're back again right so when I say lost the window this window when I'm moving it around can sometimes get stuck down here and you can't pop it back up hopefully that's something they can fit soon but we're just gonna, in the interest of time, cut out a section. This big section here. Just so we bring that back. So now, we're gonna add a few effects in. So we will start with night vision. As you can see so far that's not been an issue. Sorry that was me called the space bar, not the software. Okay, so we're gonna also add DSLR over it and drone overlay as well. So now if we go full screen again. So it's lagged it a little bit. I mean, still nothing major. We will add... That video call here. And then... CCTV there. Now what we're also going to do is add a another clip up here we are just gonna I don't know if that's what It's frozen up a minute. Let's scrap that and re put it in. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. But we're trying that anyway. Well, I didn't even ask me to save. <laughs> well, if we look at this, there's not anything too crazy going on. I just. I don't seem to be a problem. Well, I'm just going to restart and then once I've done that, I'll be back. 
Right, okay, so we are back. I'll close this. Okay, so my camera overheated, apologies. UK weather's quite warm at the moment. Right, so, floated back up and this has appeared to be okay. Now we've restarted the computer. So I'm just going to leave that in that corner, just so it's a little bit of overlap on the video. So, go full screen. So yeah, it's not overly happy about it, but it's okay. Alright, so far so good. Now we're going to add some titles in. Now I know... We're just not going to even bother changing what they say. Just going to add some in, just to... Add to the fun of it, of course. Again, full screen it. Okay. And just to make sure, add a few more in. Because why not? I know jitter can sometimes cause issues, so we overlap that bit. Then we are also going to go and if I can actually get the options. Okay. So we're gonna muck around with the colour. to add some sound that too so we will add I'm not sure where stream elements have come from or I haven't downloaded that so that's just randomly appeared which is strange <laughs> So add some music in. And we will cut that. Get rid of that. So now we have a pretty epic video. Wow. Really in tight the six, aren't they? It's fairly one wondering what this video was on. It was the So now I'm just gonna finish up really by rendering so okay not sure what happened there so ultimate vid save that as an mp4 
for YouTube's sake. And we want it at 4K. Okay, so add that to the render queue and we will add that to the desktop. So the footage was recorded in 4K 25. So let's render that and see how long that now takes. Obviously this isn't a huge video, so it's not going to take massive amounts of time, but... And then what I'm going to do is upload the video straight onto this video, so you can see what the final outcome is. So, just in the interest of time, I've jumped a little bit there, but as you can see through the last bit, it's powered through because there wasn't as much. That took two minutes and seven seconds in total to fully render. So we're closed out now. And just have a quick sneak peek. There we go. Right, I'm going to switch over now. As you can see, this is a little computer anyway, as we know, because it's running Windows. So I expected it would be able to do it, but I'm quite impressed with how it handled the render and the end result's good. So yeah, I think if you would like to take it on the go, if you've got the proper dock and everything and you're connected up to a display, yeah, perfect. And I know you might be thinking, well, if you get connected up to a display, why not just get a laptop? Well, it's one of those things. You might not always want a laptop. You might just want this sometimes for gaming or whatever. But it's just the fact that it does give you the option. Obviously, I did this video on this little screen. So there's nothing to say you can't do that. It's just a preference thing. So, yeah, another good use case scenario for this is for people that haven't got a big budget for a bigger PC and just want this to start out doing some editing. I mean, again, there's there's a lot of use cases for this. Um, it's a little bit flawed in places. Hopefully they can fix some of that, but um, I'm going to be doing some more test videos on this shortly. So please subscribe to the channel if you found this useful. Please comment down below anything you want to know and I will get back to you. And also, yeah, if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, any games you'd like me to test, just let me know. As always, I've been Dally. This has been Big Bots, Little Bots, Arm Bots, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Big Bots, Little Bots. <laughs>